saying, we were speaking about the, the past few days, the halachot of kibbutz Vaim, a very, very pertinent topic that comes up in many households, unfortunately, is what to do with non-religious parents. A person has secular parents that are not shomer Torah mitzvot yet. The question is, what the halacha is in terms of kibbutz Vaim to them. The Rambam clearly states in Perek Vav Minchot Mamrim, the Rambam holds that even if a person, he writes, Afilo Aviv Rasha, even if a person's father is Rasha, he is still mechuyav to honor and respect him. That's what the Rambam says. The Tur in Yure De Asiman Reshmem disagrees with the Rambam. Many Rishonim agree with the Tur, and they say, he brings the Ayot, that if a person's father is Rasha, a person does not need to honor such a parent, his patur. Now again, there's room to discuss non-religious people in our generation, they're not really the shahim the way they used to make them. You know, the tzaddikim are not the way they used to be, and the shahim also are not the way they used to be. So the nowadays people, unfortunately, they, they're not aware of the beauty of their heritage and their tradition, and because of that, they, and they're also missing the chinuch. A lot of them were raised secular and in secular schools, so they're missing these very fundamental beauties of Judaism, so it's hard to call them in Rasha. Nevertheless, La'alacha, Maran Shulchan Aruch, in Siman Rishmem, in Yure De'ah, Paskin's like the Rambam, he holds that a person must show honor and respect even to his father who is in Rasha. Now, this is especially true in our generation like we, like we just spoke about. Uh, nevertheless, Maran Zechon Al-Varacha, in Halichot Olam Chilek Chet, he points out something very interesting. He says, sometimes you find that there are, this is all, if the person, right, the parents are non-religious or even Rishayim, but they're not getting involved in their children's lifestyle. However, let's say the children want to be Ba'alit Teshuvah. They grew up a certain way. They want to become Ba'alit Teshuvah, B'nit Torah. They want to send their kids to yeshivas. Sometimes the grandparents, meaning the parents of who we're talking about, they're supportive. That's wonderful. Or at least indifferent. Also okay. But sometimes they can be harassing. Sometimes they can make the children crazy. How can you do this? And they get involved in their children's uh, lifestyle choices. Over there, if they're harassing their children for being Shomer Torah Mitzvot, that Maran Zohan Vracha says, that is considered being an apikoros. That is apostates and heretics. And therefore, over there, according to all opinions, even according to the Rambam in Maran, a person would be exempt from showing kavod to such parents. Preferably, says Maran, that a person should try to separate himself, to distance himself as much as possible from those parents, so at least not to get into fights with them, because we do find in the Zohar Kadosh that Rachel Imenu was not zochet to raise Yosef, uh, and Binyamin for that matter, because she aggravated her father Lavan. Lavan was the quintessential Rasha, and yet the Zohar says because she aggravated him, you know, she got punished for that. So we have to try not to aggravate our parents, obviously, but to try as much as possible if a person is in a situation like that, to distance ourselves, to minimize the amount of conflict. Have a wonderful day.